How you guys doing? I'm back making another video. Uh, I've been out of commission for a little bit. I had a rotator, torn rotator cuff, and I had to have surgery. Uh, you can see I can barely lift my arm here. That's about as high as I can go. It's uh, after eight weeks. Uh, let's see, about eight weeks ago I had the surgery done. Not quite sure what I did, but of course. I was planning on another trip on my motorcycle and I'm going to complete my Colorado ride and couldn't do it um, because of this surgery so cancelled on me so anyways I'm getting better um, and I plan on doing some short trips I can't do any long trips on my bike until my arms fully recovered so I figured why not combine my uh, other photography uh, or my other hobby photography with motorcycle riding so that's why I'm making this video. Um, I wanted to uh, go over uh, the cases and how I would pack my DLSR cameras. So normally when I travel I, on my adventure trips, I take this little Sony uh, camera here. Um, I love this thing. It um, uh, can record movies. Uh, it uh, also um, will... Uh, capture film in raw format which is I love because then I can process them afterwards um, and if you know anything about raw that's the way to go um, this is the RX 103 there's a RX 104 out now but this is what I normally take on my trip I like it because it's light I can throw it up in my top case and uh, I get great pictures um, but it does not replace a DLSR uh, so but it still is outstanding and if you're going up in the mountains or on you know anywhere on an adventure ride where you're out in the middle of nowhere you don't want a big camera uh, and stuff log lugging you down so this works great for that but um, since I'm doing some short trips I want to take my bigger cameras um, but I don't want to take them in this top case um, or even in my side case um, I'm just worried about damaging them so uh, I looked at maybe I thought I would put some you know foam in here and put the cameras in but I still don't quite trust that so I was trying to come up with some alternatives so you can see I have a, a pelican case here um, this is the 1550 pelican case and inside I have all my camera gear uh, that I would take and this is stuff that I use to uh, my normal photography type stuff and you see these are bigger cameras and I don't I don't trust them in the paneers up there because I don't, I don't want to um, get them trashed or anything so this here is really secure it's watertight dust tight and, uh, and you can't go wrong with this um, so I want to mount this on the motorcycle Now the problem is, um, what I wanted to do is, if you can see here, is take the existing hardware that is on the bike and I want to mount that on there. So um, I looked at possibly just going to uh, BMW and ordering the bottom plates here, but uh, you can't order those. I figured I'd get these and then use them on the, uh, the Pelican case. And then I can mount the Pelican case up on top. But you can't do that. BMW doesn't sell them. So my goal is, is to make me a mounting kit where this will mount on here just like that. Um, then when I do short trips and I want to take my uh, cameras this will be on there um, and well protected it can rain uh, it won't bother it uh, even if I fall over this case I feel pretty confident <coughs> that my cameras will be okay so I just need to make it where it mounts on here so I'm gonna play around with that and see if I can't come up with something um, I looked online to see if there was maybe a kit that you could buy that would allow you to mount it to the existing rack and there's not there's nothing and I'm really surprised by that there's stuff where you can um, 
replace this, but then you lose the top top case. Uh, you got to use one of their cases. Uh, it was just ridiculous. I couldn't find anything. So I think I can make a plate, or maybe I'll even go down and have uh, machined brackets done off of the existing plates where they'll fit in here. And the only thing I have to do is come up with a locking mechanism. That way I can slide my Pelican case on here. And then when I go on my long adventure rides, I take that off and I put my regular case back on. So we'll see how it goes. I'll uh, post another video as soon as I get it done.